So, have you heard about the wild pigs in California that seem to be turning neon blue on the inside? Hunters near Salinas were butchering feral hogs when they discovered that the animal's muscles and fat had a startling electric blue color. Wildlife control expert said it wasn't just a hint of blue, it looked like blueberry blue. So what's going on, and should you be worried about this? Let's find out. Well, the strange blue color inside the pigs didn't happen naturally. After checking, scientists found out it was because the pigs had eaten rat poison. In California, farmers sometimes use a type of rat poison called difacinone. It's made to kill rodents like rats and mice in farms and fields. Difacinone works by stopping the blood from clotting. It causes internal bleeding in rats, squirrels, and other small pests. It's powerful enough to kill rodents quickly, but the doses in bait stations aren't large enough to kill a 100 to 200 pound pig. Instead, the poison builds up in the animal's body over time. Also cooking the meat doesn't make it safe either. Studies show that the chemical stays active in the tissues even after cooking. When predators or people eat contaminated meat, they can suffer from secondary poisoning. So why blue color? To make sure people don't confuse it with food, companies mix in a bright blue dye. That way, if anyone sees the pellets, they immediately know it's poison. So, because of these risks, California banned most uses of difacinone in 2024, allowing it only for certified professionals. Yet the discovery of blue-fleshed pigs shows that the poison is still getting into non-target animals. Also, chemical pesticides don't just hurt pigs. Wildlife groups warn that poisons can kill or sicken animals up and down the food chain, from owls and hawks to bees. There are human health implications too. Exposure to certain pesticides has been linked to declining sperm rates, diabetes, and cancers. That's why scientists and environmentalists are calling for reduced reliance on toxic chemicals and better pest management strategies. Duh.